Hello, this is Radical with my first ever building video. I won't hold you up too long, but if you do enjoy it, I just want to let you know that you can leave a like or maybe subscribe if you aren't already. But the thing I would really appreciate if you have the time would be to leave a comment with an idea or a suggestion or just a question in general that I could answer for you if you wanted. Because I have a lot of fun talking in the comments with all my thousands of millions of viewers, not really. I will let you get into the video, but I do appreciate any suggestions, questions, ideas, etc. So I do hope you enjoy the video, and bye! So getting straight into it, the first thing I always do when starting a Minecraft build is making sure the area is okay. So I'm getting rid of the trees and doing some terraforming, because the default world in Minecraft generally isn't that ideal for building. So here I'm just fixing up the world a bit, I mean, there's a literal lava pool in the middle of it which is kind of a sign that you should try and fix the world generally. And then, it's really simple, it just takes a little bit of time, but then I can finally start building, moving on to the bridge, which is definitely one of my favourite builds of this entire project. I was very inspired, and I built it on an angle, with a weird shape, and I had to do a linear arch down as well, so it was quite a few weird shapes at the same time, but somehow I managed to pull it off, and this is definitely one of my favourite builds of the entire project. Now the planning. This is probably the easiest part because all you have to do is plan out how the build's going to look. So the red is a wall, as you can see it's going to be the big wall around the entire structure. And then the white is all the individual buildings, the blue is the pathways. The gold is just a few details I want to add later in the project. And the blue is going to be markets that I add later. And obviously the building at the top left there is going to be the main tower. Now, the first building. This is definitely one of the funnest parts and most experimental parts of the entire build. Because this style determines what the rest of the build is going to look like. So, I was on this first building for quite a while before I decided what style I wanted to go with. But then it was kind of easy for the next few buildings, just copying the same style and getting used to it so that I can make some more complicated and sophisticated builds later, with the same style of course. And I'm pretty happy with how the first section turned out, to be honest. Now the barn. I don't really know what I was thinking, it doesn't entirely fit the style, but it has animals, water, food, has a window for them to look out of, so I don't know, it does the job. And moving on to the next buildings, this this building there that you can see right now has probably one of the weirdest shapes out of all the buildings, I'm kind of proud of myself that I managed to pull it off. And then the tiny building, I've decided that would be where the village crazy person lives, if there is one, of course. <laughs> and then moving on to the next buildings, there's an inn that you'll see in just a second, just there. And there's also just a couple lone buildings to fill in some empty space. This is when you can really see that it's starting to become a full village. The next set of buildings, I was a lot more experimental. I wanted to make them seem more like the architecture had been getting more modern since the first set of buildings. So I did a few more modern designs, and I don't know whether it entirely fits, but it doesn't stand out too much, so it definitely works, at least. And the next set of buildings you can see here, I just copied the same style as the first buildings, but added a bit more detail and depth to make them original compared to the first ones. And the markets is where probably one of the weirdest parts, I don't know, it does the job, but it's very modern compared to the rest of the build. So I'm proud of the way it turned out and it does look like markets, 
but I feel like I'd do it a different way if I were to try it again, to be completely honest. The last set of buildings, I just copied the same style as the rest of the buildings, but I was starting to get really good at it, and I was kind of happy with this last set of buildings. Now the guard tower is... I don't really know, I was experimenting a lot. I used spruce to make it look a bit more supported, like it was more of a fighting tower than an observing tower. The main structure of this build is very flat, so I gave it a bit of a detailed roof so that it would make up for the lack of detail on the actual building, and it turned out pretty nice in my opinion. The observatory tower, so I don't really know what was going on in my head at the time, but I took a very long break between the guard tower and the observatory tower, and I'd been watching a lot of videos at the time, so I took a lot of inspiration from other builders and added as much depth and detail as I could, and it turned out pretty nice, it definitely looks the way I intended it to. The main tower is a 100% my favourite build of the entire project. I was starting to combine every style that I'd used so far into one build, and it turned out really, really good. I don't know, I wasn't building differently or anything, I was just using everything, all of my knowledge at the same time, for this main build, which is fairly impressive, and I could imagine it being a starter survival base very easily. I would happily make that in my 10 year hardcore survival world that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> the atmosphere and pathways are, I don't know, it's very easy to make and experiment with, but it's kind of the, one of the most defining things of the entire build because it's literally everywhere. Everywhere you walk, there has to be detail and depth and pathways and walls and leaves and I don't know, it was just very satisfying to make, to see the whole thing come together in one section of the build that wasn't even that hard. So it was only like 45 minutes of building. And I made a little stage in the corner and a few different fields so that it would seem like the village is making progress in terms of productivity. The dam? I don't really know why I wanted to make this. I think it was just in my mind from the start that I wanted to make a dam no matter what. You can't really go that far, like you just hit the wall immediately if you were swimming or going in a boat. But it turned out pretty nice and it's a nice little addition in my opinion. The wall is, uh, this is probably the longest time I spent building out of the entire project. This was like two and a half hours or something of building, and it's not that hard to make, but you can see it really makes the whole thing seem like a kingdom, just with that tiny addition of the wall being there. It does take a bit of detail away from certain buildings and hides certain features, but I feel like the effect overall was definitely worth it. The last thing I wanted to add before finishing this was just a few trees and details to break up the skyline but also just to give it a bit more life because I realised almost I was about to finish and then I realised there were no trees. So. With all of that done, I hope you enjoy The Kingdom Outpost by Radical.
So I hope you've enjoyed my first ever building video. I want to do a lot more like this, I don't really care what you say on that, but I do want suggestions. If you have any suggestions for videos that I could make, I'd very much appreciate that because, I mean, YouTubers, we can make videos, that's for sure, but getting ideas, that's kind of, it's like really hard. I also just want to show you two things really quickly that probably aren't that important, you can just skip to the end of the video if you want to get straight to the outro that no one watches anyway. But I'll just show you the two things really quickly. So firstly, the one of the things I really wanted, and this is kind of the value of planning ahead, is I wanted the tower to show above when you're walking along this main pathway, and I didn't even... I was planning on doing that, but I wasn't even paying attention to that. And that's one of my favorite features of this entire build, is when you walk in the entrance over here, and you walk through, and you can see the main tower all the way through, like there's a perfect gap. And I don't know why, but that just really satisfies me for some reason. <laughs> and the second thing is that I tried this little thing, I've been learning about gradients in Minecraft, and I've never seen anyone do this before, I don't know why, I'm sure someone's done it, but you should try it because it's basically making a custom tree, but you use three different types of leaves to make it a gradient so you can see here i've got spruce birch and oak and the effect it gives is basically like the sun over there is shining down on it and you can see that with all the trees it looks really cool like this tiny little effect but it changes it just so much and i don't know why i've never seen anyone do this i'm sure someone has but i recommend if you like making custom trees trying this because it really does look pretty cool in my opinion <laughs> Oh, also last thing, if you do want to download this world for yourself, I'm most likely going to make it a world download in the description. I'm not like 100% certain, because I'm not 100% certain about anything, like whether this looks good. <laughs> but if you do want to use this map for like parkour or hide and seek or manhunt or whatever it is, I will just give you a warning that it's not very good for parkour. Like, I'll just show you quickly everything is so cramped like even the wall you can't sprint for like three seconds without being interrupted by a lantern or a slab or a block and i don't know i just found it really frustrating that i didn't make this parkourable which is definitely a word <laughs> so thank you for watching this has been my first ever building video if you do want to see more like this, you can leave a like or actually leave a comment because I know everyone says leave a like on YouTube, but comments are actually so much more important because I get ideas and it means I'm going to upload more if I know that people are actually interacting with me from what I'm making. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, also leave it in the comments and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.